<laughs> well, Scott, are you going to take it to 11? I'm going to try tonight. So our question today, we've been asking a lot of the bystanders who their, who'd be in their dream heat. Who's in yours? Dream heat? Yeah. Uh, You're not in anybody's, by the way. That's all right. <laughs> I just feel like I should go home now. But uh, dream heat? Maybe a little Sean Palmer pre-getting old and broken before I broke him at the 2001 Winter X Games. Calling him out there, but he's got some lump still in his chest for me uh, a little maybe 97 terry a. hawkinson about the time that he won the border cross world championships at isf uh me like february 16th style <laughs> last year what was that day <laughs> olympic day oh um, i hear about that <laughs> who else who else little dan donnelly maybe from the first ever uh border cross at black home for all uh greg stump's film groove <laughs> do you see yourself out in front not necessarily but <laughs> right i see me having fun with my heroes <laughs> awesome oh god oh, oh god, god. Where's that? what's happening snowboarding is happening right now people are taking it to 11. they're way beyond 10. ben jacob ellis is leading here we go a bunch of people are gonna spin Spinning, Whoa. sort of spinning, some part butter action there. <laughs> Can we talk about some of the 360s you've seen today? Oh, people down. Good crowd reaction there. Something must have really happened. <laughs> yeah, girls going wild. Uh, I saw Smith do a sweet 360 <laughs> where he sort of <laughs> caught his nose and buckled off the side of the course. We never were really sure if he survived it or not. He might be in Franklin Memorial now. Um, Holland's been throwing the kind of like Mellow cork backing. backside three little. So it this, varies. this entire week, my whole quest has been looking for a mellow backy, mellow double backy. Yeah. Have you seen any? Uh, no, but I have only seen one guy around who's capable of doing it, and that's that guy right behind us throwing snowblows. Rick, the Seller Bauer. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Rick the mellow double backy Bauer. No, this is the inaugural Champions Cross event. We're here at my home mountain, Sugarloaf, USA, in the deep, dark woods of Maine. Um, it's March, so unlike how most snowboarders remember this place, the sun's actually here. It's not just a dark, shadowy pipe. Um, and yeah, we got awesome crowd turnout here today. We're trying to force border crossers to do freestyle maybe against their will but most of them are pretty down with it it seems like it's working everyone's kind of psyched about it yeah no people are stoked about it and uh yeah especially the americans who can like throw down yeah yeah americans i think do we have a full american final maybe sounds like it. i think we do so north america representing yeah um yeah no it's just kind of i wanted to start doing something so we could try to have it be fun and not just be something that the fist was doing and try to create you know a venue in north america for kids that wanted to do border cross mm -hmm. uh to come out and have better prize money and um and have something that has more of a freestyle influence so that maybe the industry will get behind supporting it again because i just think it's it is a cool thing and it's something that um you know when you just kind of look at the overall aspects of snowboarding and just what it is to be a rider it can incorporate a lot more of those and i think the kind of rigid part of border cross does so mm -hmm. we're trying to make it a little less rigid a little more fun and uh but a little more challenging too so awesome mellow backies mellow backies it's all about the mellow backies <laughs> go to 11. Yeah! Yes, he's here! Yeah! Oh, dude. We are bringing urban riding by nose buttering the features. <laughs> Taking it to 11. Taking it to the streets. Look out, MFM.